did you know that your thread, when it makes a stitch, goes through the eye of the needle up to 50 times before it becomes a stitch? This is why we always tell people to use good quality thread. We're gonna get into how this actually is possible as you are seeing this variegated thread being dragged through the needle as it's being linked with the bobbin. Now, the first time I heard this fun sewing fact, I did not believe it. And I did exactly what they told me, to mark some thread and then watch it as it works its way down to the needle eye and then eventually over 35 to 45 stitches later becomes a stitch in my fabric. And I'm gonna show you exactly what we mean. You've probably seen this image on the internet, but it doesn't show one part. Yes, the needle thread is connected with the hook in the bobbin area to create the actual stitch. But what it doesn't show is the take up lever dragging all that extra thread from down below in the bobbin to pull it nice and tight and become a stitch. We're gonna show you exactly how this works next. But before we do, don't forget to like this video, add a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And better yet, be the first one to share this video with your favorite sewing Facebook group. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we do free video tutorials on sewing machines, sergers, and embroidery machines. Here, I'm taking a part of my thread and marking it with a Sharpie marker. This will allow you to see the exact point when this part of thread first touches the eye of the needle. Let's take a peek inside. By pushing down, I can lift off this front cover and we can see exactly when that thread starts to be part of the take-up lever. So let's go ahead and stitch until that black thread first touches the eye of the needle. Right there is when we're gonna start counting stitches. Let's go ahead and mark on our fabric so we can see how many stitches later do we see that marked thread in the fabric. As you can see, it's starting to go through the eye of the needle lots of times. And how many stitches? That one is about 35 stitches. But if you think of it, the thread actually passed through down and back multiple times of those 35 stitches. And this is on a machine with a drop-in bobbin. It's about three and a half inches worth of stitching that that thread goes through the needle eye. Here's what it's looking like as it's being wrapped around the bobbin and creating that stitch. Now you know why I'm always diligent in helping people understand why they need to clean all the lint out from underneath their throat plate area. Since we're understanding more about how our sewing machine works, it still is an amazing feat that a sewing machine needle is nowhere connected to the bobbin case. This picture kind of shows that it, that like a crane is extended way past the body of the machine. If you're picturing that tree in the lower left corner as your bobbin, it would be like asking the crane driver to carefully knit together brand new leaves on that tree. So how in the world does our sewing machine stay so in tune? And that's why we always say, make sure you have your machine serviced on a regular basis. So all these parts and pieces, which operate so far apart from each other actually stay in perfect time. Those of you with a Bernina with a larger jumbo bobbin, we're gonna do the same exact thing, but notice because you have a bobbin that is much bigger, it's actually gonna be even more stitches for you. We're starting here where that marked thread has just touched the eye of the needle. Let's go ahead and watch as that needle has started to bring that thread back and forth so many times through that that eye. Again, this is where quality thread makes such a difference when you're sitting down to sew because that thread passes through that needle so many times. So many times I actually had to turn a corner so I can get the final stitch out and count the number of stitches. On this one, it was closer to 45 stitches before I saw that marked thread actually in the fabric, closer to four and a quarter inches. Let's take a peek of what it looks like underneath 
the Bernina, and you can see that that thread passes in front of the bobbin case. I actually had to slow it down. So I couldn't even see it with my naked eye when I was doing this filming because it was happening so quickly. I decided to take this one more level and I picked out a couple embroidery designs, looked at how many stitches were in each design, and then, and then tried to imagine how many times my embroidery thread passes through the needle eye as I'm doing an embroidery design. This particular one even has a fabric applique and only takes 9,000 stitches to complete. This design's only about three by four and it's got 13,000 stitches. 21,000 stitches for this cute little applique and 50,000 stitches for this slightly larger jumbo hoop applique Santa. These are some fabulous designs from Stephanie Stouffer in her Merry Holiday collection from OESD. I'll put a link below if you wanna check it out. If you know you're not using your embroidery machine to its full potential, check out our most popular online course, Embroidery Essentials. There's links to all of our courses in the description below. So when things don't go well, make sure that you have a fresh needle, quality thread, and that you take a few minutes to clean out underneath your throat plate. And if it's been over a year since your last annual service, take your machine in for its annual spa day. I promise that will keep your machine running in tip top condition. Looking for additional videos to watch? Watch these two videos next.